Bad sleep is a common hallmark of almost all neurological conditions. Reason being is you can think about it in terms of coordination. So the same way your brain is gonna be in charge of coordinating the way your hands move, the way you walk, the way your eyes move, the way you think, the way you have emotion, right? Those are all coordinated things that you have to have like a nice tight range in. Sleep is not different. It's another coordinated event. You have to be able to coordinate all of these different cascades of pathways that are happening within the brain to promote recovery. So it's like a rebuild process that's happening really fast overnight. But if that becomes uncoordinated, then the quality of sleep degrades. And we may actually find even just getting to sleep or being able to maintain a sleep architecture. All that stuff can be impaired or uncoordinated the same way things are going to be when you have neurological conditions when you're awake, right? So the same way we want to think about addressing those pathways to help the things when you're awake, we want to be able to do that as well for the sleep so that we can get the recovery that helps with that rehabilitative process so you can get stronger again. So the same rehab that's applying to the things you're doing awake are the same things you're going to apply to trying to get better recovery during sleep so that you can build up that tolerance, build up the capacity, be able to do more things during the day.